And KTSM is your local election headquarters and election day is underway in Doña Ana County with the mayor, three city council seats and one municipal judge seat on the line and on the ballot. KTSM 9 News reporter Jesus Baltasar is live from Las Cruces to explain the ranked choice voting system. Esalama at the County uh, Government Center, where as you can see behind me, there's still a long line of voters waiting to submit their ballot. Polls open in Doñana County today at 7 a.m. and will run until 7 p.m. tonight. After Mayor Ken Miyagashima decided not to seek a fifth term, seven candidates are running for mayor in this year's election, and the ranked choice voting system is likely to have an impact on the results. The ranked choice voting system was adopted back in 2019 after city council opted in to have their elections run by the Doñana County. The city, previously having to fund and run all of their elections, opted in for this cost-effective measure. After opting in, the city chose to have their ranked choice voting system decide runoff elections instead of having an entirely separate runoff election. KTSM speaking with the Las Cruces City Clerk, Christine Rivera, explaining that a candidate will have to accumulate 50% plus one vote in order to win. If a candidate reaches a majority vote by tonight, ranked choice voting uh, wouldn't have to be applied. But with seven candidates running for mayor, Rivera explains that the votes are likely to be split. Rivera also explaining how votes would be redistributed if ranked choice were to be applied. So the votes get redistributed and so what happens is, for example, we have seven candidates this year. Um, whoever's the lowest candidate at the end of their, the night, whoever voted for them first, their second votes will be redistributed to the remaining six candidates. And so it works its way up that way until we get 50% plus one. Rivera encouraging voters to rank candidates based on how comfortable they are with them running the city and to not feel obligated to vote for every single candidate if they aren't comfortable in doing that. Election workers will conclude accounting tonight at 11 p.m. and will have to resume until 9.30 a.m. tomorrow following, following new statutory law. Reporting live from Las Cruces, I'm Jesus Baltasar. Okay, Jesus, thank you.